I really couldn't decide what was kind of relevant in my life. And when it comes all down to stuff, I was thinking, okay, what stuff do I need? And I had the idea that if I could take the stuff away from my apartment and then I could bring it back, that's that's a process where I could find what's, you know, what do I really need and somehow find some kind of moderation. When I think from a very small boy, I've been knowing that film is something that really intrigues me and I think it's the art form that speaks to me the most. And I wanted to do something with my life and then I realized that, hey, maybe I should also film this. And that's where the uh, film called My Stuff kind of evolved. So I had the idea that I would take all my stuff in my apartment, like everything, out into a storage and I would have a rule that I could take one item back per day and this is how I would live one year. And I also had a rule that I could not buy any new or used stuff. Then kind of some feeling of adventure also kind of arise in my mind that what would happen if I would not have anything? What would be the one most important item or what would it feel like? Or when I look back at my like year of experiment, more I remember the things that I did with my friends than I remember what specific item I got. I remember that I invited all my people to my apartment to make food when there was nothing, or how I went out and washed my clothes with my friends, or how somebody helped me, or how my brother always came in the morning and woke me up when I didn't have a clock. Everything comes down to the persons that are around you. When you dig deeper, under everything is love, of course. And I'm really happy that I did it, because if I would have not done it, I would probably just pondering around, around with the same questions. I have a lot of good memories from the very beginning, when I was basically naked in the flat with just one piece of, like, big jacket. And when I kind of remember back, there was no stress, there was no mobile phones, there was no Facebook, there was nothing, there was just time. To some point it was quite liberating, but then you end up just being alone with a lot of time. I think it was around after 100 items or 150 items, I realized that now when I bring back more, I'm gonna be just one item closer to the mess of having too much. I think having less stuff gives you a lot of energy and freedom. It feels quite strange that I was so focused on my belongings and my stuff. Now when I look back, I was probably not so, you know, happy with my life. And because of course I, I was acquiring and buying stuff in a way kind of to be happy or, you know, filling some parts of my life with buying or consuming. When I used to buy things, I was thinking it would make my life much more easier if I would have these things. But when you acquire a lot of things and you have a lot of stuff, then they tend to take a lot of energy. A car is the perfect example of how much maintenance does one item need. You have to first earn the money to buy the car, then you have to pay the insurance, some kind of parking tickets, gasoline. It's one item that takes so much attention. I'm really lucky because my friend has a car and he, he allows me to lend his car. The good things when you kind of share some things and of course the burden of having things is a little bit more shared equally. I'm not interested in stuff at all anymore. I, in a way, I've generated some kind of dislike for stuff also. You don't own your stuff, your stuff owns you in some sense also. If you live with less stuff, like, I mean like radically with less, it will reflect in every a part of your you know, life, in, in what you eat and how you travel. You have to be a little bit radical when it comes to lifestyle changes.